we move on to do a recap of today's Champions League fixtures. Uh, there was a lot of important games today. Uh, we do start off with some of the games that we won't go too in depth with. Um, Stuttgart drew 1 1 to Sparta Praha. Uh, PSV drew 1 1 to Sporting Lisbon. Uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, uh, hold on, can we, do we have some slight difficult, technical difficulties here, but some interesting games, uh, today, obviously we talked about Arsenal's game, uh, Brest, they defeated Salzburg, Brest are now, um, Brest joined with, um, Leverkusen and Brest, Leverkusen and Borussia Dortmund right now are the only teams uh, so far that are um, unbeaten um, in this Champions League. They find themselves, those three teams are now top of the table. Now obviously you have the likes of Bayern who can join them. Um, Bayern, Villa, Liverpool, Juventus, Madrid, they can all join them tomorrow with their games. Uh, but um, Salzburg, Brest, they got a 4-0 win over Salzburg. So their very good start to the Champions League continues. And um, and it was uh, Abdullah Sima. He opened the scoring 24 minutes in. And, um, you know, Salzburg had some opportunities. But it was Madi Kamara that got the second halfway through the second half. And, and then Sima, he got the third, which wrapped it up. And then, um, yeah, it was a really good win for Brest. Um, in this year's edition for Champions, Champions League, they've also got themselves on a good start so far to the League One. No, they are have been having a rough League One campaign. Um, I meant to say with two wins and four losses. So it's been really surprising how well that they've you know competed in this year's edition of the Champions League up to now finding themselves 13th in League One, but in terms of Champions League, they've been really, really good. Um, talked about Stuttgart, 1-1 draw was Praha, Sparta Praha. We talked about Arsenal defeating 2-0, defeating PSG 2-0. Dortmund, they were able to defeat Celtic 7-1. They, they were leading this game, Borussia Dortmund, at halftime 5-1. And it was, you know, really incredible because... You know, you know, Celtic came off the opening Champions League, opening weekend of the Champions League, where they won. They defeated Slovin Bratislava 5-1. They got a 5-1 victory against Slovin Bratislava at Celtic Park. We know that they're now managed by Brendan Rodgers in a second stint as Celtic manager. And, you know, with, you know, with that high of what they did in that Champions League game and now to go away, and yes, you're going away to, you know, the... Um, the Signal Luna Park, uh, which is uh, Signal Luna Park, uh, the Yellow Wall, which is n you know, you know, never an easy stadium to play in, but to go there and to get, you know, to get you know, embarrassed that they waited to go down five one and a half time, I was a little bit, I was a little bit surprised. I thought, you know, Celtic would go in there. You know, I know they're managed by Brendan Rodgers and they have a way of playing, especially with, you know, them being the t top horse in the Scottish League. You know, they're used to, you know, being much more talented than the opposition and um, and having control of the game and dictating tempo and all that. But to go into Borussia Dortmund and to be as open as they were, to try to play out the way that they did um, and leave themselves vulnerable, I just thought Brendan Rodgers was a little bit optimistic in his approach. This is a Borussia Dortmund team that reached the Champions League final last season. And man, Adi Emi with the hat trick, his pace, his electrifying ability. Girassi was able to get two goals as well. Uh, man, it was a, it was an embarrassing display. And it, it's, just, it's just rough if you're a Celtic fan because, you know, winning your opening game and winning at 5-1, it's... It's a great start, and it and it's a very very good start because you, the the goal differential that you gain in that opening day, which is important, you know, when it's an eight game format, 
in the champ in these Champions League in this Champions League new format. You know, only playing eight games in a thirty six team league, goal differential is gonna be a big factor at the end of the day. And to you know and to have that a great start and to just completely wipe away with a seven one defeat, it's very, very frustrating. Um and yeah, it's um yeah. Uh PSV they def- they drew one one with Sporting Lisbon. Uh they drew with Sporting Lisbon. Um but uh, uh, yeah, PSV and Sporting Lisbon drew one one. Manchester City they got a four nil win over Slovenia Bratislava. Important for them to get a result in this game after dropping points in their opening day against in against Inter, and they you know they got their first win and they did it in dominant fashion as expected. Um, Ilkay Gundogan he was able to create for Phil Foden to you know to get that opening goal. Uh, Foden, you know, there's been a little bit talk on him in his season. The performance today was really, really good and something that can be a catalyst for him going forward. Erling Haaland, he scored a goal as well. How surprising, Erling Haaland. He just continues to do it. I think this is his 11th goal in all competitions this season. Just just ridiculous numbers. Uh, you know, ridiculous numbers. Um, 11 goals in 8 games, I believe. It just, It's just ridiculous. Um, what he's done since he's been as a Manchester City player. Um, Gundogan, he was able to get a goal himself as well. I forgot, you know, before he created the opportunity for Phil Foden, he scored a goal as well. Um, he scored he scored a goal as well. And, uh, yeah, overall... Uh, or no, he his goal came with combination with Phil Foden. He did not he did not uh, create for Phil Foden. Phil Foden he uh, uh, he's did a he doubled the advantage uh, with a really good goal himself. But it was uh, Gun- Phil Foden that you know um, combined with Gundogan for Gundogan's first goal, and this is his first goal since joining the club. But overall, good win for Manchester City. Um, to get a fi- uh, four goals as well, really good win for them. Inter, same thing. Opening day, they had that draw against Manchester City. Now they get their, f- you know, first win of this year's edition of the Champions League, beating Cremonese Fes- Fes- Festa, and uh, and it, it was they, you know, they cruised past them. Kolonoglu had a really good free kick in the eleventh minute, and once you get that goal that early on through a set piece, you know. We just knew Inter was going to run away with it. Uh, Merita Remy, he created two opportunities for Anatrovic and Martinez. Um, and uh, and then uh, Taremi, he scored his opening goal. Uh, since His first goal since joining Inter this summer as well. Dominant display for Inter Milan. Mm-hmm. Barcelona, they were able to defeat the likes of Young Boys. Now, this, in my opinion, was a very important game for Barcelona. After losing your opening match to Monaco, to bounce back that the way that they did with a very good win, 5-0 win. And again, Lamine Yamal playing absolutely amazing. Some of the individual performance in this game is something, as a Barcelona fan, you'd be very, very excited about. Lamine Yamal just continuing to be the player that he is, getting two goals from Robert Lewandowski. We know the season he had last season not being his best, but the way he started off this season has been absolutely incredible. And then Rafinha also getting on the score sheet as well. Him sort of, you know, you know, his, you know, what's the word? His rise now at Barcelona, he's continued this his season of being really, really good. And he's had some questionable, you know, inconsistencies at this football club. And it's, you know, overall a good um, a good turnaround. They had their first La Liga loss this weekend. And to bounce back the way that they did, they didn't want this to carry over. And what they did, what they should have done, they dominated a young boys team that they have more quality than. And Rafinha, he played an amazing game. I think he won player of the match as well. Um, so good performance from Rafinha, and he's you know he's really really been impressing me this season. I do have to say, Leverkusen one 0 win over AC Milan. Um, Bonafis, he's the one that scored that opening goal 
this is actually his first Champions League goal as well, which is a um, which is a great accomplishment for him. But yeah, Leverkusen they got the goal in the fifty first minute, um, and I think Leverkusen they played some really really good football, especially in that first half. I thought I, I, you know I thought they were the better team, but later on they did get a little bit more defensive in the last 15, 20 minutes. Is AC Milan that was on the attack? Now, if you're AC Milan fan, you're wondering why you didn't see this from minute one. Why did they take a? Why did you know? Why did they allow Leverkusen to be the more progressive team in the first half and they didn't take it to Leverkusen why did they wait till the last 15 20 minutes or so um and that's what I would ask if I was a you know if I was a AC Milan fan right now they've had a good you know recent run of results since you know since that bad start to the season with that you know with uh, dropping points to Torino losing to Parma um They've had, you know, good results, drawing away to Lazio, beating Venezia 4-0, beating Lese 3-0, and getting that Milan Dar uh, the Milan Derby win over Inter. But so far, at the start of this Champions League, they had that really poor performance against Liverpool at the San Siro, and they were, and then they uh, they couldn't get the point here against Leverkusen, and now they find themselves in a difficult position going forward in the Champions League. With no points after two games, you got Club Bruges next at the San Siro, which is not the most difficult game, yes. But then you have you have the San Siro to follow, where you'll go away to the San Siro to take on Real Madrid. You know, you know that's gonna be a very difficult game there for uh, for AC Milan. So, you know, I am interested to see, um, you know how they respond uh, to these first two games in this Champions League. But we have seen progressive progression from them so far in this season.